Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another video on my channel and today we'll be making a stop sign in the easiest way possible. Stop it! Get some help! But before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for 150 subscribers, actually more. We have a little over that. And for some people, that's basically nothing, but for me it's a lot because if you picture that as 150 people, actually a little bit more, standing around you that that's something crazy so thank you once again and let's get started right so once you open your blender you know what you gotta do delete these three items and press shift a or just manually go up here into add hover over the mesh and click cylinder we're gonna be needing two cylinders so one is gonna be for the pole and one is gonna be for the stop sign for the panel actually so right now what you gotta do is to add a cylinder scale it to the length you like now press numpad 7 to go to top view and scale it down let's say I, i'd say this is the perfect length okay and now what you gotta do is and add another cylinder and decrease the vertices from 32 to 8 once you've done that, you're gonna scale it. You're gonna scale it down, make it a little bit thinner, maybe make it a little bit bigger as well. And now, first things first, you gotta rotate it on the X axis. So press R, X, and type, just type on your keyboard 90. So for like, you need to return, you need to rotate it for 90 degrees. Now, Press tab to go to edit mode. We're gonna just bring it a little bit like forward. All right, I'd say this is the perfect placement and a little bit up and yeah, we gotta, we gotta rotate it like this. All right, so that's how our stop sign is gonna look. So. Once you've done that, select this face and insect it a little bit by pressing I on your keyboard and then press E to extrude it a little bit in. Okay, and now we have this. So all we got to do now is add some textures. All right, so we're going to add a, an image here and we're gonna do some material like metal or something for the pole right so first things first we're gonna need a light just to see what we're actually doing here so I'm gonna choose the point light and it's gonna go GZ okay and we're gonna add like I don't know thousand watts sounds good to me all right so make a new material make this pretty simple so basically silver I don't know make it metallic if you want to if you don't want to leave it as it is I'll leave it like this maybe 0.3 or something you know make the pole however you like and now select the panel again press tab to go to edit mode select this main side main face make a new material assign it and here where it says base color switch it up to image texture and now open find your image texture you can download any stop sign png texture i'm just gonna use the one i downloaded and maybe it's gonna look bad yeah as it is but we're gonna go to uv editing press z and hover over the rendered or material pre material preview however you like it press one on your numpad to go to the front view and now what you gotta do is to press u and project from view and now you're gonna select this here and scale it maybe rotate it slightly okay like this it's really gonna be hard to you know like get the right measurements here all right i'd say this is actually really good we're gonna put it to closest so yeah 
that's pretty much our stop sign you know let's adjust the rotation a bit and yeah you can even change the frame like the border of it if you want to you don't have to i'm not gonna change it i'm gonna leave it this way so yeah that's pretty much it and if you want to see me like doing a road we're gonna be adding some i don't know road maybe cars or something around it let me know in the comments so this is basically it for this tutorial guys it's pretty simple maybe a bit longer than i expected but you know i still like it uh, all right so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video peace